All right, so we're diving into something pretty major today, something that, frankly, you can't afford to ignore. We're talking about the 2024 midterm elections. Yeah, because we're not just deciding, you know, who gets to sit in a fancy chair for a couple of years. These elections have consequences. Absolutely, they really do. I mean, think about it. Every decision made in those hallowed halls of Congress, well, those decisions directly impact our lives. Exactly. Think of it like, okay, the presidential election, that's like setting the GPS, right? You're picking your destination. Okay, I'm with you. The midterms are like your chance to adjust the route along the way. Hey, maybe skip that traffic jam up ahead. You get to say, hey, are we really going in the right direction with this? It's the ultimate course correction, right? And this year, it feels like the stakes are higher than ever, wouldn't you say? Control of Congress is up for grabs, which means buckle up, because things could get very interesting. Oh, absolutely. I mean, this is where the rubber meets the road. These elections determine who controls the House and the Senate, which in turn influences what legislation gets passed, what policies get enacted. It's like the ultimate power play, really. And speaking of things heating up, can we talk about the issues dominating this election cycle? It's like the usual suspects decided to throw a party and everyone's invited. The economy, healthcare, immigration, climate change. Yeah, it's the greatest hits of political hot topics. But here's the thing, and I think this is where a lot of people get tripped up. It's not just about the broad issues themselves. It's the nuances within them that really matter. Could you elaborate on that a bit? Sure. Let's take the economy, for example. It's always a major factor in any election, right? But this time around, it's not just about whether the economy is doing good or bad. It's about the specific policies being proposed to address the challenges we face. So it's less about the problem and more about the proposed solutions. Exactly. Some candidates are laser focused on tax cuts, arguing that putting more money back in people's pockets will stimulate growth. Others are pushing for an increased minimum wage believing that will lift people out of poverty and boost spending. So it's like two completely different approaches to the same problem. Precisely. And that's just one example. We see the same dynamic playing out across all the major issues. It's about drilling down into the details, understanding the nuances of each candidate's stance. This is why it's so crucial to go beyond those catchy slogans and really understand what each candidate stands for. Absolutely. Now, here's another thing to consider. And this is where things get really interesting, especially in a midterm election year. It's no secret that midterm elections typically see lower voter turnout compared to presidential elections. Yeah, it's kind of baffling, isn't it? Like, you would think that with so much at stake, everyone would be rushing to the polls. You'd think so, right. But unfortunately, that's not always the case. There are a lot of factors at play, but it often comes down to a lack of awareness about the importance of midterm elections. And on top of that, we're seeing increasing concerns about voter suppression tactics. And that's a whole other can of worms, isn't it? Absolutely. We're talking about things like stricter voter ID laws, mm -hmm. reduced early voting periods, polling place closures. These things disproportionately impact marginalized communities, making it harder for them to exercise their right to vote. And that's why it's so important to stay informed about your local voting laws, to make sure your voice is heard, because ultimately every single vote matters. And just in case you haven't marked your calendars yet, Election Day is November 5th. Mm. So set those reminders, tell your friends, spread the word. This is not something we can afford to be passive about. Couldn't agree more. And here's something else to keep in mind. These midterm elections aren't just about the next two years. They're setting the stage for the 2028 presidential election. That's a really good point. We often get so caught up in the here and now that we forget about the long game. It's like, you know, the domino effect. The candidates who emerge from these midterms, the issues that dominate the conversation, all of that will have a ripple effect on what happens in 2028. It's like laying the foundation for the future. So with all of that in mind, with all this talk of high stakes, crucial issues, and the long shadow of 2028, what stands out to you most? What will you be watching closely as we move towards November? Because ultimately, this is where your own deep dive begins.